Around the world, there are iconic historic buildings that arouse the interest of tourists, and one of them undoubtedly is Buckingham Palace, the not-so-humble abodes of the Queen of England. Stay with Curious Sips family to learn all the hidden secrets in Buckingham Palace with all 775 rooms. Buckingham Palace is the home of one of the most powerful women on the planet, Queen Elizabeth II. However, within this luxurious and majestic building, more than 800 people live there as well, including the royal family, servants, and members of the royal guard. And of course, we cannot forget about the watchmaker of the monarch who is responsible for the 350 watches in total in the palace. If we think more carefully, 800 people is not that much taking into account that the palace has 775 rooms in total, 78 of which are bathrooms, and all of them are illuminated by a total of 40,000 electric bulbs. You might think, what a waste of energy! But as it turns out, the royal family is concerned and takes care of the environment, so a vast majority of them are LED spotlights. But you can imagine what it is like to have to clean so much space. The 760 windows that the palace also has needed to be cleaned at least every six weeks. Going back to the details of the interior of the Buckingham Palace, we already mentioned that there are 78 bathrooms. But what about the rest? Well, 188 of those rooms are bedrooms for servants. It also has 92 offices, 52 bedrooms for members of royalty and guests of honor, including of course Her Majesty, and 19 rooms to discuss diplomatic issues. If these numbers don't impress you, surely the extraordinary Victorian decoration and fine finishes of the entire palace will. All of the rooms, perhaps the most important one, is room 1844. In this particular space, the Queen receives the most distinguished guests. For example, the former US President Barack Obama, his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, and even the Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie. The famous room received this name because that's when it received the Russian Tsar Nicholas I as a guest. And although Curious Sips cannot access it, at least we have seen it in photos every year because this room is also where the traditional Christmas portraits of the British royal family is taken. You might be surprised, but not everything is luxury and glamour in the house of the Queen of England. Although it retains the classic elegant touch of yesteryear, the passage of time has also diminished the state of the palace. The problems of moisture and leaks in several venues of the palace have given great headaches to the royalty. But that has not been the most scandalous thing. Some years ago, it was reported that the monarchial house was infested with mice and bugs, so workers had to store all food in plastic or glass containers. Finally, these pests were eradicated by an expert team in pest control. However, in 2017, Prince Carlos himself said that palace's maintenance to keep it in good condition is very expensive, so it would not be a bad idea to turn it into a museum and allocate the money from the visits and use it for its care. Although, at the moment, the only address on the entire planet that has its own zip code, SW1A1AA, continues to be the home of Queen Elizabeth II. It is very likely that once it ceases to exist, the palace effectively becomes a real museum, because even Prince William totally agrees with that idea. Have you already visited Buckingham Palace, or would you like to visit it? Do you think it's a good idea to turn it into a museum? We're looking forward to reading your comments, and remember to become part of our Curious Sips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.